Welcome everybody to today's video. I've got a really good one for you. Um, I see all sorts of sea life and creatures and, and really cool things over here by Sandstone Point. Uh, that's a little screenshot from my, my Navionics app. I uh, highly suggest getting that. And uh, here's a little speed up for the descent. Uh, the descent. And uh, I, what I, I found this really cool reef on my uh, side scan, just kind of as I've cruised up and down the coast here, and we, we happen to come ac come across some uh, half moon perch here, a school of them, and uh, they're very curious of the camera all the time, and of course I have to highlight the ocean whitefish, which I really uh, enjoy. Uh, eating, um, they make great fish tacos. I have not had an half ha eaten a half moon perch, but maybe someone can tell me if they taste good and maybe they're worth going after because in a lot of my videos, they uh, they're quite abundant. And uh, so I'm trying to get better at, at piloting this drone, and I'm trying to relax and make uh, decisions, uh, you know, not as fast, and so it's easier on the eye. And um, when I found this reef, I mean, I was just super stoked. So bear with me as I, I cruise and I look in a bunch of these caves and, and crevices. And, and, um, and through this video, I'm going to try and identify as many things as I can. And so uh, right now I'm just trying to figure out what the uh, current's doing. And look at that. I, I spy a little calico from the top. So that's pretty cool. They're almost like camouflaged if they're kind of sitting in a, in some kelp. Um, and you can kind of see it with the white spots. It looks like little white spots on the, on the rock, which is uh, pretty cool. And so anytime the, the, the drone kind of does that is I'm trying to... I'm letting out some line, or it's trying to pull out some more line. So, um, it kind of get you kind of have to pilot and dish out some line. So that's what I'm probably doing right now. And while that happens, look what I find a cool little opal eye. I wonder if they're they're good eating. Yeah, cool little spot on their back on both sides, real close together. Um, right now I'm trying to judge how the current is and you can see the current's not too bad um, the Gladius Mini drone is really good at this the stabilize feature and the accelerometers in it um, do help uh, keep your drone steady um, and like I said you, in all my videos like current is not very good obviously with the drone and uh, I'm anchored up right now. I'm anchored up, and I kind of put my drone out on the uh, port side. Um, so it's about, like, I'd say, like, maybe 100 feet away. Less. 50 feet? Yeah, 50 feet. So I find that's, that little point right there, um, I think that's the tallest uh, rock in this whole area. And that's what I can see on my side scan. And um, it's like this really cool little str striated uh, structure there. And I zoom in right there on a blacksmith perch. Gosh, they are just everywhere. And if you saw my last video, there are, there's tons of them. And there's those half moons and the opal eye again. So my main mission here was to try and find some lobster um, in these rock reefs. And I just think that there's so much to find here in the um, in these rocky areas so my main thing was oh, okay well let's look in these little crevices and maybe I could find something I do I find a red Gregorian and that 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 blue fish right there I don't know what it is but um, maybe someone can tell me in the comments there's a kind of a tube uh, like thing on the rock I don't know what that is either uh, maybe could some maybe someone can tell me. Um, but yes, I wanted to highlight the elk kelp in the background. Um, I figured that out uh, this round, um, uh, just learning and um, 
but yeah, so I, I'm going in here and I'm looking. A lot of sea urchins everywhere. Wherever you can see them, and look at I spy. Yeah, little lobster just sticking its head out right there, hiding in the crevice. So, um, and then of course a little calico bass shows up. Hey man, what's up? And um, the fish get really curious, and then they get all scared and and they run away. So that's kind of kind of fun, I guess. And uh, but see, at first I didn't see that lobster, and. Um, so I found that when I I put this on my uh, on my TV, because as soon as we get it on the TV, you know everyone on my family we could sit there and my my son and we could kind of point out and look what's what's going on, because um, there's just so much information in these videos where I mean it's incredible. There's so much life on the floor, and you know this is. This is uh, I gotta hand it to the Channel Islands National Park, um, and of course, uh, uh, the people that use the park. Uh, all the boaters out there, all of us are doing a great job to keep the, uh, the water clean, wildlife good, um, and uh, you know we're not tearing apart the floor. So this is this is really cool, really cool to see, and of course you can see all the elk kelp on the floor there um, those things can can go deep I've I've got them in like 160 170 feet so I go really fast and I almost hit that rock um, I'm still trying to learn how to pilot the drone you because the the drone can tilt like this and I, and then if I go forward it kind of you know digs down but I, I gotta remember to kind of descend and then go forward and kind of need that new uh, that new drone that Chasing has, the M2, um, that can strafe also. And uh, I really want that feature. But, you know, this is for fun. We'll get there. So uh, I came up apart uh, along this rock, and I just kind of wanted to highlight all of the gold Grogonians right there on the on the edge right there. Um, and... And there, of course, the red ones there, and then various uh, elk kelp and um, small seaweeds or algae, right? And so I just think that is really cool to look at. So I kind of try and zoom in on it. And and remember, like the if if you ever gone diving, which I have before, you know the the waves will go back and forth, and of course your drone is part of that whole thing. So. Um, and uh, but chasing software is is pretty darn good I'd say and come around the corner here and we find a cool little, little female sheephead and you could tell because it doesn't have the you know the black head and and the really red colors and then of course we find uh, I was super excited about this this is a lost lobster trap and uh, in this area right I mean there's lobster traps all over the island so it's not like you know. It, it, Nobody knows about the spots, but, but I mean, you can see it's kind of like bunched in right there. It looks like they tried to like pull it up and it ripped off. And, and you can see in the background there, um, I show a better uh, shot of it er later, but um, you can see the base of the lobster trap. So this thing got all smashed up and they probably just cut the rope or, or, or did something. Or, but I'm going to let, um, there's a website. Um, that you could go to, I think. I'll put that in the description below. and Or you could uh, uh, give your coordinates to uh, Department of Fish and Game, and I, I guess uh, at the end of the year they uh, send out a team to try and clean those up. So uh, I gave the uh, Fish and Game the um, coordinates to that. And so I believe we got a red and purple sea urchin there. So... Um, but I wanted to highlight that there's urchins everywhere here. And uh, maybe we should get some more. I don't know. And uh, so I kind of need a little bit of your guys' help also. Uh, what I find here, um, uh, I believe it is a yellowfin goby. Um, or it could be a sculpin of some sort, baby sculpin. But I see them all over in this video. Uh, they, they are really all over the place. 
And uh, you kind of see a snail up on top of there on, on the ledge. And I kind of get a better little shot of there. And, um, but I mean, you can see starfish, red, gold gorgonians, uh, sea urchins, um, gobies, uh, snails. I don't know. I don't know what that is, but that I didn't get a clear enough image to zoom in for you guys to have it be, uh, you know, worthy. But I, uh, you see on the left there, we saw a, uh, um, another starfish, another type of starfish. And there's another one. And I think that's a sea cucumber. Um, right on the top there of that image. Um, I didn't get a good image of it either, so I didn't, um, I didn't zoom in on it. But um, just in this one little patch, I mean, it's incredible what, what we can find. And so there's some little elk kelp. Get a little nervous around the kelp because the tether um, could get caught in the kelp and then you could get stuck. And uh, that's why I'm a little apprehensive about going into the caves and when I get close to things that, that the tether could snag on. And you can see how, how cool that, that rock structure looks. And so if you're watching this video and you're going to go dive down there to go get that uh, lobster trap, I got a little uh, uh, road map for you guys. <laughs> so. so I kind of look over here and I, and I see this, uh, this, uh, this like little... I don't know what you call it, like a valley or something. Um, it's unbelievable what I find in there. So, and and while I was videotaping this, um, I was just super stoked on that. I was like, gosh, there's got to be something in there. There's got to be something. And uh, you can see how how all that all that algae life is on the surface, uh, or on the top side of the rock, and you know the currents moving through. So fish can take like shelter. And those little, uh, um, in the in the little crevices there. So let's go in. Let's check it out. Just try and go nice and slow, relaxed. You know, try not to use too much battery. Because um, I know once inside, I, I get into the uh, crevice there. The uh, it's a lot easier to pilot because I'm not in the current and flowing with the waves. Plus, I'm trying to be careful. There's, um, you could see there's a little uh, lobster right there clinging on the surface, and you could see his antennae, um, or his, or his spiny antennae. Yeah, right there. Yeah, that's definitely a lobster. But that was that was a lobster I didn't see. And then look at that big old gold Gregonian fan right there. Beautiful. Someone's got to tell me how how old that thing is. And then look what cruises in. I, I believe that's a barred surf perch. Uh, and um, those are like the, look at those big old four sea urchins. Those are honkers. And I'm a big fan of uni at the sushi restaurant, I'll tell you. I love the uni. Um, I especially like uni shooters. And there's another one of those uh, uh, gobies there. So I come in here and, oh my gosh, look at this. Yes, I got two... California spotty lobsters and I was so excited to see this look at them just chilling in there oh man I wish I could go dive down there and just grab them I'm a big lobster fan also and uh, so I got really excited I, I take another pass so I'm gonna try and come out to the middle of the valley here and try and get another shot in there, but the, uh, the wave got me right there. See, here comes another wave, and it's constantly doing this everywhere. And look at that. Yeah, look at that. That's so cool. <laughs> and, of course, I made a pilot error here. I land, I, I keep hitting the rock, and, and look at that. Oh, I just disturbed, and I'm sitting to myself. Oh, no, i got to clean the motors. And look at this. I made this big old plume here. And uh, you can kind of tell because look at all the sediment. And then I ch drive away. Abort! Abort! So, so I keep moving on with my search here. 
And uh, in this kind of little segment of the video, um, we see some more really cool stuff here. And uh, there's another Red Gorgonians. There's a whole bunch of them. And there's more of those gobies. I think they're gobies. I want to. I, I need to stop saying it because I'm not sure. But uh, I'm I, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not sure. Um, but they could be baby sculpin. You know, I don't know. I'm not too too sure with just that one photo. But right here, um, I find the coolest thing. I only found this on my TV. He's right there in the frame. You guys see him yet? Do you see him? Look at that. I think that's an island kelpfish. Um, totally, totally camouflaged there. Uh, I found that on the TV when I when I uh, got on the TV, I, I, and um, that's how I could see everything. And then I take little notes, you know, um, mental notes. And so. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, right now, I mean, I'm like almost 15 minutes into this dive. And I remember the battery was around like 40%. So, um, you know, I was, I was starting to think about heading back up. Uh, you don't want to use too much of your battery. I, I'm trying to keep my battery uh, in good condition. I'm trying not to run it down all the way because I still need battery for the ascent. And then I see at the top and then I, I, I can kind of guide it to where the boat is and so I don't have to pull it because I don't want to pull it because it's I don't want to mess up the, the cord the tether so right here right almost at the end of the dive I find another lobster ha! I would have almost had limits by now if I just go down there and grab them remember I'm surrounded by lobster traps in this one but I didn't see any so I think they're putting them on the side of this this uh, reef right here um, so, and then I see that sea lion, and I was a little bit worried. I thought he was going to mess with the drone or, or something like that. So I said I was at the battery level and, uh, that I said I would want to go up to. And then I saw the sea lion. I was kind of spooked by that. And so I decided let's, let's, uh, end this dive right here. All right. So. Thanks for watching the video if you made it this far. Please hit the subscribe button if you like to see more of this stuff. Also, check out my other videos. And um, I hope you guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time. See ya.